The world's fastest car is the Hennessy Venom GT, and get this, it can be yours for the very reasonable price of just $1.1 million. All right, that's not actually reasonable. The vehicle achieved a top speed of 270.49 miles per hour during the start of 2014, equating to about 400 feet per second. The previous record holder was the Bugatti Veyron Supersport at 269 miles per hour. These are cars that go faster than you feasibly need to go. Test pilot Brian Smith claimed he could get another 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the Venom GT, but the runway was 3.22 miles long. Not enough. Yeah, everyone's got an excuse, haven't they, Brian? The Texan manufacturer had just given access to NASA's space shuttle landing runway in Florida, however, so hopefully somebody will be able to beat that record soon. To order one, just go to its website, where you can contact the person who created the car. And uh, yeah, just 1.1 million. Bargain. The Zenvo ST1 is a high-performance hypercar, whatever that means. It's manufactured by a Danish company, Zenvo. Its turbocharged and supercharged 6.8-litre V8 engine generates an RPM of 6,900. 6,900 RPMs. That sounds very good. Production is limited to 15 cars, but the car was critically panned by Top Gear after a series of accidents during filming of a segment for the show, including the car catching fire after a cooling unit failure. Another car from the company eventually finished a complete time lap of the wet Top Gear test track, with the resulting time being worse than the time of a BMW M5. Le Ferrari, also known by its project name F150, which is very cool, is a limited production hybrid sports car built by Ferrari. Its appealing design is one of the reasons why the car, of which only 499 units will be built, costs more than $1.69 million. Apparently, so rare is the car that the buyers are paying more than double that just to get their hands on one. One of the most exotic cars in the world is also one of the most expensive. The Pagani Zander Sink Roadster can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Wazazu, that's, that's a speedy car. And it's got a top speed of 217 miles per hour, which is still far faster than anybody reasonably needs to go. The more well-known Pagani Hoira, a name that nobody, including me, can pronounce, is available for a slightly more affordable 1.3 million bucks. The Aston Martin 177, a two-door coupe, received a limited production run of 77 cars, giving part of the name to the 177, with one unit priced at $1.85 million. As well as being awarded with several internationally renowned design awards, the vehicle is able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds, with a maximum speed of 220 miles per hour, which is of course still entirely pointless. Koenigsegg one, one. That's that's the word one, and then and then one after it. it, it yeah, it was presented at the March 2014 Geneva Motor Show, where the manufacturer said they built six units, all of which have since been sold. The name one one comes from the power, which is 1,360 1, PS to weight. 1,000. Oh, I see what they've done. It's a one to one ratio of power to weight, giving the car one. PS, which assumably is something to do with car powers, per one kilogram weight. The power output, meanwhile, is the equivalent of one megawatt, which Koenigsegg claims makes the 1-1 the world's first mega car, not to be confused with a turbo car or a... God, they really love making up these names, don't they? It's apparently able to achieve 0-250 to 250 miles per hour in under 20 seconds, which would also make it the world's fastest accelerating car, as well as the claimed potential top speed of 273 miles per hour or more, which will still get you arrested in most countries. Built to celebrate 60 years of Ferrari in America, the Ferrari F60 America is perhaps the company's most ambitious roadster. A cloth soft top that can be raised at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, allowing the 740 HP V12 engine to see the car achieving 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, with top speeds of around 200 miles per hour. The car is essentially an open-air version of the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, but with some major changes. The nose and doors, for example, have been completely redesigned. The F60 cost $3.2 million, with eight Americans and two Canadians having already bought all 10 units that have been currently built. 
The Mansa Vivera edition of the Bugatti Veyron, priced at $3.4 million, a steal, generates a massive 1,200 horsepower from its W16 engine, enough to generate a top speed of 254 miles per hour. Sure, it might be slightly slower than the Veyron Supersport, but its design is overall, we feel, much more appealing. It received a major facelift on the front, which consists of modified wings, a shortened hood, and an aggressive front apron. An aggressive front apron. I wear one of those when I'm in the kitchen. Mansory manufactured nearly all of the exterior bodywork components from an ultralight aerospace grade carbon fiber that utilizes an advanced hardening process. The carbon fiber was hardened under extreme high pressure and high temperature in an autoclave, which drastically improves the material quality and strength. I don't know about you, but this could be a description of how they made the ring in Lord of the Rings, and I probably would just nod and, and, and buy that. The Lycan Hypersport is a limited production sports car by W Motors, a Lebanese-based company founded in 2012. It is the first supercar to be produced in the Middle East, with plans for just seven units of the car. At 3.4 million bucks, the Lycan Hypersport is the second most expensive car in the world, with the cause of the car's expensive price tag being due to its included options. It's the first car to have diamonds in its headlights. Its front lights are made up of titanium LED blades with 420 diamonds, and the buyer can choose which rubies and diamonds they want embedded in the headlights. It's said to be capable of going up to 245 miles per hour, along with a 0 to 60 time of 2.7 seconds. <laughs> you can't help but feel that a hyper elite wealthy ruling class are taking over the world, while the rest of us are screwed. When the Lamborghini Veneno was revealed, its price tag of $4 million made it the most expensive car in the world. Only three made and sold at the time. One buyer purchased it without even seeing it. The Lamborghini Veneno Roadster, meanwhile, has taken the title of the world's most expensive car, getting you from 0 to 60 in a swift 2.8 seconds, allowing you to hit a top speed of 221 miles per hour. The Roadster model is available for a cool $4.5 million. Lamborghini said it planned to build only nine units during 2014. The Veneno Roadster has no roof, not even a fabric top. Instead, there's a strong rollover bar for optimum safety. The luxury car manufacturer said that the design is focused on optimum aerodynamics and stability through fast corners, with handling akin to that of a racing prototype. The Lamborghini Veneno Roadster is based on the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, but it's about 10 times more expensive. The latter's LP700 Roadster starts at $444,595, which is a lot more affordable. Look, can anyone lend me half a million dollars? I just, I just want to have a little go on these, all right? Just half a million dollars. I'll pay you back quickly, I promise. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. For more top 10 lists, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the button that you can see now.